Hello students! Welcome to Math and Magic. For today's video, I will discuss the different forms of linear equations. By definition, any equation of the form ax plus by equals c, where a, b, and c are real numbers, and a and b are not both zero, is called a linear equation in two variables, x and y. The set of all solutions of such equation represents the graph that is a line. Moreover, writing an equation of a line can be done in various ways depending on the information given. The equation can be written in slope-intercept form, point-slope form, two-point form, and intercept form. Now to better understand each, let's have the following examples. Item number 1 for slope-intercept form, here what we need to have are the slope of a line, commonly denoted by the lowercase m, and the y-intercept, denoted by variable b. y-intercept is the value of the ordinate or y when the abscissa or x is equal to 0. Moreover, the equation for this form is given by y equals mx plus b. In example number 1, write the equation of the line whose slope is negative 3 and passing through the point 0, positive 5. Here we first need to write the given slope or m is equal to negative 3 and the y-intercept or b is equal to positive 5. Now substitute these given values in the equation y equals mx plus b it will be y equals negative 3x plus 5. Thus, the equation of the line is y equals negative 3x plus 5. Now, when asked to express the equation in standard form, that is ax plus by equals c, you will just transpose negative 3x to the left side so that it will be positive 3x plus y equals positive 5. The graph of this equation would look like this. Example number 2. Write an equation of a line in standard form whose slope is negative 3 and passes through the point positive 3, negative 5. For this example, notice that the given are the slope and a point where the line passes. Thus, the equation that we will use for this item is point slope form. Point slope form is given by y minus y sub 1 equals m times the quantity x minus x sub 1, where m is the slope and x sub 1, y sub 1 are the coordinate of the point. In this example, m or the slope is negative 3. x sub 1 is positive 3 and y sub 1 is negative 5. Substituting these values in the equation, it will be y minus negative 5 equals negative 3 times the quantity x minus 3. Negative of negative 5 is positive 5. Left side will be y plus 5. Then equals negative 3 times the quantity x minus 3. Here we will distribute negative 3. It will be negative 3x plus positive 9. Equation now is y plus 5 equals negative 3x plus 9. Rewriting the equation of the line in standard form, we will transpose negative 3x to the left side. It will become 3x then plus y. For the constant term positive 5, we will transpose this to the right side it will be negative 5. Negative 5 plus 9, the sum is positive 4. Hence, the equation of a line in standard form is 3x plus y equals positive 4. Moreover, the graph of this linear equation looks like this. For our third example, write the equation of the line passing through the points positive 1, positive 2, and positive 3, positive 6. Observe that in this example, coordinates of two points are given. 
Thus, we will use 2-point form of a linear equation. It is in the form y minus y sub 1 equals y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 times the quantity x minus x sub 1. Also remember that the expression y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 is the formula for slope or the inclination of a line. Going back to the example, here we need to label which point is for sub 1 and which is for sub 2. Typically, the first point in the problem is for sub 1. Labeling the coordinate, x sub 1 is positive 1 and y sub 1 is positive 2. For sub 2, x sub 2 is positive 3 and y sub 2 is positive 6. Substituting these values in the formula, it will be y minus 2 equals 6 minus 2 or 4 all over 3 minus 1 or 2 times the quantity x minus 1. Evaluating the fractional part on the right side, that is 4 over 2 or simply positive 2. Now applying distributive property, 2 times the quantity x minus 1, it will be 2x minus 2. Equation now will be y minus 2 equals 2x minus 2. Writing this in standard form, we will transpose 2x to the left side. It will be negative 2x plus y. The negative 2 will be moved to the right side. It will be positive 2. 2 minus 2 is 0. Hence, the standard equation of the line is negative 2x plus y equals 0. Now, if you want to have an a value which is positive, the equation can also be written in the form positive 2x minus y equals 0. Here, we will just multiply both sides of the equation by negative 1. Moreover, the graph of this linear equation would look like this. For our last example, write the equation of the line passing through the points 0, 3, and negative 2, 0. For this example, observe that the points are both intercepts. X-intercept here is negative 2, and the Y-intercept is positive 3. Thus, we will use the intercept form of a linear equation. It is given by X over A plus Y over B equals 1, where A is the X-intercept and B is the Y-intercept. Substituting the values, equation will be x over negative 2 plus y over 3 equals 1. To simplify this rational equation, we will multiply both sides by the LCD, which is negative 6. Negative 6 times x over negative 2, the product is 3x. y over 3 times negative 6, that is equal to negative 2y then equals 1 times negative 6 or simply negative 6. Hence, the standard equation of the line is 3x minus 2y equals negative 6. When this linear equation is graphed, it would look like this. To summarize, the standard form of a linear equation is given by ax plus by equals c, where a, b, and c are real numbers, and a and b are not 0. Meanwhile, ax plus by plus c equals 0 is the general form. Now, when the slope and y-intercept are given, you will use the equation y equals mx plus b. When the slope and coordinate of a point is given, you will use the formula y minus y sub 1 equals m times the quantity x minus x sub 1. When the coordinates of two points are given, the equation y minus y sub 1 equals y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 times the quantity x minus x sub 1 will be used. And lastly, when two intercepts x and y are given, you will use the equation x over a plus y over b equals 1. Here, a is for the abscissa and b is for the ordinate. Thank you for watching. God bless.